Okay, so this is a demo I've been working on, which um, it's not really Ether Wars, but we'll just say it is for now. In order to make Ether Wars, which is sort of a <clears throat> conversion of my um, Tango game, I've been having to play with um, some ideas for, um, you know, the HoloLens apps and like, you know, try to see what works and what doesn't. So, in this case, in the interest of making an Ether Wars game of some sort, using the HoloLens capabilities, I've decided to try and make like a little Lunar Lander game. Um, and this is basically where it's at right now. So first, you have to scan the room. So right now I'm building a mesh out of this room. You can see there's some HoloLenses there. There's various equipment. And so, uh, okay, we've scanned the room enough. And now I have to issue a voice command to start the game. So I just say, play. So now this is my little ship that I have to place in the room. It has a little chain, which eventually will be used to grab things, but it's kind of like a hovering drone. So here, I'll place it. And you can see there's some crates on the ground here. Now, eventually, I haven't really put a grabber thing here on the chain. You can see right here, this chain doesn't have any, uh, any claw on it. But you control this thing by using your finger. So I can go like this. I can bring it towards me like this. Oops, I actually walked inside of it. I can, I can, whoa. Let's go up. Break. That'll stop it from moving. Bring it towards me again. Break. Let's move it up. See, it'll hit the ceiling and stop moving. Because it'll collide against, boom, see? It'll collide against the environment. Um, so yeah, basically, it's this little drone. Break. I find the gestures on this thing actually don't work that well when you're um, not looking at it straight. So let's try to bring it down. Come on, come down. Now see, like, it's weird. Break. Break. Here, let me try, I'll try to walk over here. Yeah, see, when you're standing, when you're looking at it straight on, the gestures work a lot better, which I think, break. Break. I might end up having to use a controller at some point. I also can't get this chain to stop dangling. I put a damper on the spring, but this is not physically accurate. It's like a perpetual motion machine. Here, let's bring it. Break. 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 So the idea would be to get this thing to pick this little crate up so you'd kind of like fly over it. Break. And then try to try to pick it up. But uh, break. That's where I'm at right now with this thing. As you can see, what I've essentially done is made like a drone, uh, except in order to use this drone, you need $3,000 worth of equipment. However, it simulates what you can get with a $29 toy at Amazon, <laughs> which actually probably works a lot better than this. But uh, yeah, this has been kind of an experiment in how to make sort of an arcade action game with HoloLens using the uh, meshing, the uh, you know point cloud reconstruction or whatever you want to call it of the environment. And uh, you know, it, uh, it works okay. It's pretty good. I think there's a lot of possibilities here. Anyway, uh, thanks, and uh, I'll be back with more videos of my wild Holland's experimentation. Let's bring this down. Break. <laughs>